Welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Ms. Rivers. That's right, we're back with box number six. Box number six of Theros Beyond Death. Who's ready for Theros to be over? Right? Everyone is. Everyone's ready. Everyone is ready. If you missed it last night, I was most likely, I think. I'm recording this ahead of time, so I'm hoping that everything worked out. But I most likely participated in some tabletop EDH. I will make sure that I get that edited out of the video. <laughs> ho ho, you guys are hearing about it, but you didn't see it. You didn't see it. Ooh, final death. There it is. All right, Dreamstalker, Manticore, Meyer Triton, Heliod's Punishment, and our first rare is a Temple of Abundon. And a nice foil in the first pack, Nyxborn Seaguard, with that nice full art planes and a gold token. All right, so what do we think? Do we think, has anyone else noticed that all their mythics end up in a big pile uh, in these boxes? Slaughter, Priest of Mogus, Hateful Eidolon, The Triumph of Anax, and whoo Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. That is a Constellation version of Heliod. Suncrowned. Yes. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Ooh, the Nightmare Token. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sweet. I am super stoked about that. I, I'm i looking to build a, a deck with Heliod in it, and uh, I will take a constellation art of him for sure. Drag to the Underworld, Citizen Petitioner, Dream Shaper Shaman, and Wave Break Hippocamp with another foil. Foil Final Fire, or Final Flare, Final Flare, with a forest and a wolf token. Don't get hung up. Don't get hung up on the Heliod. Let's just keep motoring. Keep motoring. One with the stars. Heliod's punishment. Mirror shield. And temple of deceit. It's such a deceiving temple. It's like you, you think you walk up to it thinking that it's not a temple. And then it is. And you're like, shh. Shh. Nikes. Acolyte of affliction. Ferris band. Brawler, Minions Return, and Allure of the Unknown. It's like the thing that's like, you know, do you do you want this, you know, $500, or do you want the mystery box? It could even be $500. And always the Allure of the Unknown is what matters. Shoal Kraken, Madomai's Prophecy, or M Madoma's Prophecy, Thundering Chariot, and Thassa's Oracle. A nice little rare there as well. We'll take it. Lots of people doing some funky things with that card. I, I've i seen this card win so many games of Limited and I never expected it. Shoal Kraken. Alisade of Life's Bounty. Eutrop uh, Eutropia. Eutropia. And Tectonic Giant. Fun card. Little 3-4. Who doesn't like that? And a foil. Aspect of the Manticore. Alright. Planes and a Pegasus token. So one mythic in the first few packs there, but it was a constellation mythic. So I don't know if that means it falls in with or not. I don't know. Like, is that how does that work? Furious Rise. I'm assuming they're on a different print, like, cycle or run, right? The constellation ones. The Binding of the Titans. Birth of Miletus. Seeing play in blue-white control. And Gallia, the end of the Endless Dance. Gallia is a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy Gallia. I think she's great in any deck, to be honest. Any deck that can play her, she's definitely an include for red green in any in any capacity. Impending Doom, Staggering Insight. This card is bonkers. Clothis's Design and Kunaros, Hound of Athreos. The card that everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, did you see that dog? Look at all the text that they printed on it!" And then it's like, just like not seeing play at all, really. <laughs> because there's too much, too many shenanigans from the graveyard, and it cut and it shuts off your own stuff, which is the real problem. I'm sure it will see 
some play in sideboard tech in like modern and stuff like that in the future. Shimmer Wing at Chimera, Dream Shaper Shaman, Soul Guide Lantern. It might already be seeing that play already, you know what I mean? But like the point is is like it's just not it's just not seeing the price tag that people I think thought it would originally. Dream Trawl is a really nice rare. And we got a foil annex hardened in the forge constellation art. Pretty nice. Island. And a reflection token. What else we got? Set as in Petitioner, Minions Return, Stinging Lionfish, and Grave Baker Lamia. Or Lamia. With a nice Plains and a Seder token. Alright. Uh, Calafi, Beloved of the Sea, Constellation Art. I'm going to put that with the foils for now. Mystic Repeal, good removal spell in limited. C uh, Siona, Captain of Pales, or Pileys. Seeing a lot of commander builds around this one. And Arasta, the Endless Web. It's a nice bomb in limited, Arasta. Nice 3-5 that... Gives you a bunch of stuff. Whirlwind Denial. That's the uncommon that everyone's still chasing, I believe. Devourer of Memory. Rise to Glory. And Shatter the Sky. The uh, the board wipe that everyone's being like, yes, this is the one. Escape Velocity. White is now, uh, you know. Or like, I guess, blue-white control has now got a nice board wipe in four mana. Right? Wrath, a Wrath Effect. Right? For four mana. Dawn Evangel. Favored of Iroas, Inevitable End, and Perforos' Intervention. Chain to Memory Foil. All right. Mountain. And our first garbage card. First garbage card. Only one third of the way through the box and our only one garbage card. It's not too bad. Calafi, or Calafi, Beloved of the Sea. Nyx Herald. Stinging Lionfish again. And... Archon of Sun's Grace. This is a bomb and limited as well. Ooh, and we got a foil regular Daxos. Not the Constellation Art, but that's okay. I remember, like, the Constellation Art, like, and da Daxos foil Constellation Art, like, when it first, when the set first came out. The foil Daxos Constellation Art was, like, six bucks, and it's now, like, 40 cents or something like that. Elspeth's Nightmare. Slaughter Priest of Mogus. Rise to Glory. And Dalakos. Crafter of Wonders. Who wants to build a commander deck around artifacts? Do do do. I think most people do, right? I think Jimmy did, didn't he? I think Jimmy did. Uh, Mystic Repeal, Staggering Insight, Blood Aspirant, and Nyx Lotus. All right, it's a nice rare. We'll take it. Nice Mountain. Okay. Okay. Where are we where are we sitting here? I mean we're still short on number of mythics here. Anax hardened in the forge. Hydra's growth. The triumph of Anax and Taranika, a Crowan veteran with a foil bronze sword. Another garbage card. So no garbage cards in the first row. And so far what? Three garbage cards in the second row? Impending Doom and Gary! Haha! <laughs> Gary! Underworld Dreams and Bronze High Lion. With another foil? Another foil. Clothesis's. Clothesis's design. Cloth. Clothesis's. Cloth. I, whatever. You know what I mean. You. You know what I mean. Fateful End. Hero of the Nyxborn. Dexos, Blessed by the Sun, and Citizen Champion. This is a good rare. I really like Citizen Champion. Gonna gonna go right into my green enchantment deck. Green. I have a green-white enchantment deck, and I'm looking to replace the Mesa Enchantresses, so I'll probably put those in instead, because they're easier to cast than Mesa Enchantress. Uh, Mischievous Chimera, Banishing Light, Inevitable End, and Labyrinth of Skophos. Also, the Citizen Champion is a little bit better than the Mesa Enchantress, because I think the Mesa Enchantress only gives you cards when you play Auras? Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Whirlwind Denial there. Nice. Glimpse of Freedom. Field of Ruin. 
and Enigmatic Incarnation with a foil Scola Grove Dancer. Another garbage card. My goodness. So look, we haven't hit like we've hit one mythic, and we've hit no foil rare so far, which is interesting. Now, uh, another thing my my LGS mentioned to me one of one with the stars, Gary. Haha, <laughs> Gary. Nessian Wanderer and Nadir Kraken. This card is bonkers and limited. It's very, very good. Um, there was actually a customer at our LGS that got a box, or multiple customers, I should say, that got boxes that had no mythics in them. <laughs> Zero mythics. Like, that's pretty bad. Slaughter Priest of Mogus, Drag to the Underworld, The Triumph of Annex, and Thrix, the Sudden Storm, with an island and a zombie token. All right, last row. Are we going to find all our mythics in the last row? I mean, we found Heliod, I guess. So, technically, no. Renata, Call to the Hunt. Mirror Shield. Cling to Dust. And Fassa's Intervention, which is actually seeing play uh, in the... What is it? The blue-white? I think it's seeing play in blue-white. Control? Blue-white control? I think so. Reverent Hoplite. Hero of the Winds. Warden of the Chained, and Temple of Plenty. All right, we're up to three temples. Three temples. It's plenty. I'll see myself out. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sorry, but not sorry. I'm never sorry enough, right? Scophos Maze Warden, that's just how it is for Canadians. Sea God Scorn, Soul Guide Lantern, and Temple of Enlightenment. See, I told you it wasn't plenty. I mean, like, I guess it, I said it was plenty, which means I guess I didn't want another temple, but, like, we'll take another temple. Temple of Enlightenment is is a good one. I'll take it. Alisade of Life's Bounty, Entrancing Leer, Enemy of Enlightenment, and N Nylia's Intervention. With a mountain and a goat token. All right. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty here, and we have not seen another mythic. This is getting... Nail, nail bite intensifies. <laughs> Alrios enraptured. Stinging lionfish. Destiny spinner and Ephemia. Ephemia, the cacophony. All right, we've only got like seven packs left. Something like that. My goodness, let's see. Archon of the Falling Stars. Sweet Oblivion. Nessian Horn Beetle and Dalakos Crafter of Wonders. We got two. Two Dalakos in the same box. All right. Drum, drum, drum roll. I mean, like, we play, like, the, like, the, the drowning music from Sonic or something here. Like, ding, 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 ding. Agonizing Remorse, Sage of Mysteries, Timurit Chosen from Death, and Polychronos! Oh, we found our mythics, folks. Polychronos Unchained, and a foil rare! Hey, look, our first foil rare for the box. Arasta, the Endless Web. Too bad it's the promo rare from the bundles, I guess. But, like, at the same time, it's different art. So I don't know which one's rarer, I guess. I don't... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Wolf Willow Haven. Meyer Triton, let's see, can we get another back-to-back -back mythics here? Meyer Triton, Careless Celebrant is a nice little uncommon, I love this uncommon. And there it is, Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Alright, so we found our, our little block of mythics here, in the bottom right corner of our box. Let's see, let's see if we find more. We, I'm thinking we gotta get, like, one more at least, maybe two more, let's see. We got a chain web arachnir, chain web arachnir, thundering chariot, escape velocity, and treacherous blessing. Seeing play in the doom foretold deck, which is a fun little combo there. No mythic there, so we only got two in a row, but we have three packs left. It looks like Farika's spawn, Sea God's scorn, favored of Iroas, and the first Iroan games. All right, well. Is that it? Is that gonna be it? We just had like a two, a little two, a little two stack of mythics at the bottom corner of our box. Mm. This is gonna be the lowest, uh, the lowest number of mythics we've opened out of a box out of all the boxes we've opened. Also, the lowest number of foil rares. Every box has had at least two foil rares except this one. So let's see: Scophos, Maze Warden, Don Evangel, Destiny Spinner, and the Acroan War. Not the first Iroan games, the Acroan War. 
All right. Last pack, everybody. What do we think? What are we thinking? Can we get lucky and hit a mythic in the last pack? Let's find out. Phalanx Tactics, Hateful Eidolon, Blood Aspirant, and Nightmare Shepherd. It's not a mythic, but it's a very good rare, actually. I really like Nightmare Shepherd. It's seeing, uh, it's not really seeing as much play as I would want it to see, but I like this card quite a bit. Um, so, the lowest number of mythics we've seen out of any box. Uh, the lowest number of foil, um, constellations out of a box. Because we only got one, right? And actually, we only got, what, like, we got four constellation cards. One of them being foil and one of them being a mythic, right? So, like, we ended up with three mythics, but one of them was Heliod Suncrowned in constellation. We'll take it. Um, I don't know if I've opened an Ashiok. Have I opened an Ashiok out of this set? So 11 foils, so foil count lower than average. Average foil count that we've been seeing in the boxes is between 12 and 13. Average mythic count is four to five, so we're below on both foils and mythics. And average foil rare per box was two. So we're below that as well. So like, interesting. We're below on a lot of things average wise, um, which is kind of strange, but it happens, right? Not every box can be a banger, as they say right? Um, but, I mean, we hit uh, Uro, and we hit Heliod in Constellation Art. I'm pretty happy with those two mythics, let alone the other rares we hit. Um, we didn't hit um, the Elysian Dryad, the Elysian Grove, um, which is unfortunate, but we did hit four of the five temples, so I mean, like, there's there's that. Which temple did we miss? We missed the Black Red, Black Red Temple, Temple of Malice, right? Not too shabby, though. Not too shabby. Not a bad little box to end things on. I'm really happy about the Heliod because, I mean, like, I needed that. And the Uro is always good. I mean, that's just going to see play in a whole bunch of stuff uh, just because it's such a nice, like, it's such a big swing for three mana. Like, playing it on turn three, getting three life, and playing an extra land. Like, so, essentially speeding up your progression on the board and also giving you three life is just such a big deal when it comes to magic. Like, it's a huge swing in your favor. Like, crazy. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I have been your host, Bidge Rivers. I hope you enjoyed this last box of Theros Beyond Death. Um, I don't know what I'll have next week. It'll be something. I'm not sure what. We'll see. Have yourselves a wonderful evening, night, weekend. And as always, may your polls ever be better.